Today, I will make a Sichuan specialty called a spicy chicken. We use chicken thighs, and uh, actually, it's better to use chicken with skin. And I can't find here, so I just bought um, two with the bone, and uh, I cleaned it to remove the bone here at home. And so we have these cut into pieces, small pieces, about this size, with the skin. And uh, I put in a um, couple pieces of uh, ginger, you can see, and uh, spring onions, about uh, one and a half spring onions, and uh, some uh, Chinese cooking oil. Uh, about one tablespoon Chinese cooking oil and a bit of salt and uh, also one tablespoon of soy sauce, light soy sauce and we marinate this with our five spices powder we just made earlier and uh, also about one to two teaspoons and we marinate this for 20 minutes a really quick stir fry recipe but it has a twist on it so we turn on our stove to medium low heat like I always like this temperature so you're not burning things and we put in lots of oil it's vegetable oil you can reuse these when you deep fry chicken or some other things so I have used this actually once, but we can always reuse this oil, don't have to waste it. Um, okay, just put all of it. Now you can test it, see if it's the temperature we want. Um, there's a dumb way to do it, to put in, just put in one chicken in, to see if it's actually deep frying. But you can see it's actually a tiny small bubble bubbles coming out of the oil and it means it's actually right temperature so we just give it another two seconds okay it's good then we put the rest of the chicken oil in just put in one by one about um, 500 to 800 grams of chicken here. Now we can turn it a bit to make sure it's not stick together or stick on the pan. And if you think it's too complicated, you can just use a uh, chicken breast or chicken thigh. Even though you don't have the skin with it, it's okay. And be careful, don't put the excessive water in the, in the hot oil. It will splash and uh, burn you. Here we're just trying to turn it. Now we deep fry the chicken for about 10 to 15 minutes, 10 minutes more likely, and you can see the color and the, how it looks like the golden brown we cook through. Looks crispy outside. Now we can turn on the heat. Now we take our deep fried chicken out. For people who don't mind a bit more work, you can deep fry twice, so the chicken will be crispier. But here we just cook once. Now you can have a close look at our deep fried chicken. You can really smell the five spices powder in this chicken when we were marinating it. Now we take a fresh pan 
and then turn our heat on again to medium low heat a bit of oil vegetable oil we're putting some um, Sichuan chili pepper about one and a half tablespoon you can put in more if you like the the taste but it's really spicy, so be careful. Then we can put in our ginger. Here is about um, four to five slices. And then put in spring onion. It's about one spring, whole spring onion in it. Also stir fry it. And now we have some bay leaves, dried bay leaves. You can try to break it down. And here's some uh, uh, dried chili pepper. You can see I removed the seeds. You can put in as much as you like, but they are really spicy. Keep our heat low. So you're not burning the Sichuan chili pepper. Now putting our chicken. Again, put about half tablespoon of uh, Chinese cooking oil. You can also use um, um, you can also use Chinese rice wine. Now again, about uh, one teaspoon of five uh, five spices powder. And last, putting our celery. Celery you can pretty much eat in a raw, so we just put it in it uh, and give it a quick turn. We turn the heat back up. Here you want it, you can, you can also put in a bit of uh, soy sauce. But it all depends on your own preference. Put in a tiny bit pinch of uh, sugar. everything into a pan if you like you can also put a bit of uh, sesame seeds on top but this is totally optional you have it, our spicy Sichuan chili chicken <laughs> with celery. I will give it a try. Mm. It's actually not that spicy as you would imagine from a Sichuan dish. I like it. Hope you like it too. If you like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'll write the recipe down under the video. Thanks for watching.